Hello, Tubi Ubers, and welcome back to Paper Crafts by Cindy Ellen. It is time to case that creator. So, in honor of my friend Corey and Tim visiting from Baltimore, I am casing Corey Wiskman. So, 10 months ago, she did a Happy Doodle video based on something she saw on Pinterest, just dyes. No coloring, no stamping, just dyes. So she had a whole bunch of heffy doodle things and I do not. I only have MFT because I live close to MFT. So I have this all the hearts MFT die here and a sweet hello. I, it, she'd used a high die and a um, hearts die from MFT. I, I don't have one of those. So what I have is I have the sweet hello die with its uh, background die, which I'm not going to use, from MFT, my favorite thing, stamps. And I have all, all the hearts from uh, my favorite things as well, which cuts out the inside of the heart and the outside of the heart. And I'm going to do a couple of different things. So this card, as you can see, I, um, I had some help from my bird and Pascal. Oh, speaking of whom, there he is. And he's been relegated to his cage and he wants to play some more. And the answer is no, you cannot play anymore. So um, these are the bits that are left over. Um, and I may put together another one, although I've got to tell you, it takes a really long time. But I like that. I like the dimension and stuff. And uh, I cut out three, four, just like Corey did. I cut out four. I put more hearts at the top and less hearts at the bottom. I did a monochrome. I uh, it, it did I didn't do tempting turquoise because I didn't have tempting turquoise. What I have is good old recollections uh, seafoam green from somewhere. I don't know. I, I'm assuming it's recollections. It feels like 65 pound something or other. Um, I did have Poppy from MFT. There it is. <laughs> because I bought, I'm slowly but surely replacing all of my um, cardstock, my icky cardstock with better cardstock. But you know what? I, first of all, I'm a Yankee. And second of all, I don't have the money to replace it all at once. So there you have it. I am busy doing this. So this is what I'm going to do. She had um, some clear foam tape. I don't have clear foam tape. You know what I should do first, though, is I should trim off all those little parts. Yes, I should. So she said use your paper trimmer, but you can also, in my case, just use your scissors. Yeah. Just use your scissors. So I didn't spend two hours. Um, I'm going to link her video down below. You should definitely watch that. Um, I have a Gemini Junior. And because there are six, look at that. I have kept this die together. You could cut it apart, but mm, I didn't. So, um, and because there are six of them and I used all six of them, I just kept running it through and running it through, and running it through, and because they're all different sizes, I, um, yeah, that's what I did. That is what I did. And um, I did have to fight Beak Boy for several of the hearts. I would show you what, what it looks like, but I, um, they're probably all over the floor of my craft room. You know, because that's what happens when Beak Boy gets a hold of them. He also likes glue. So we have this lovely conversation. I want to eat the glue. No, you can't eat the glue. I want to eat the glue. No, you can't eat the glue. I want to eat the glue. No, you can't eat the glue. It's like, you know, most toddlers, um, except I own a toddler with scissors. 
Yeah. So um, I'm also using art glitter glue because that's what I have. I ran out of my Nuvo glitter glue. My Nuvo glue. I really like Nuvo Deluxe glue too. And because mine's much longer, I have to put it down here. So let's see if we can get it straight. Look at that! And because it's much longer, I can't put it in the middle and then put my heart on the side because I can't. So I thought it would be cool. See all these hearts, see that's that heart without its fill in. I'm just gonna put this heart in there. And I'm gonna say this again. So this is, I just lost my tittle. Dang it, oh, no I didn't, okay. So this is a glass block. Um, they sell them all over the place. I think this one came from Home Depot actually. And um, they're incredibly heavy and really nice. So while that one is drying, I'm gonna take all of these dudes. And once you've cased a creator, then you can get creative yourself. So this is what I am going to do. Um, uh, I always think this is interesting because Pascal is sort of like literally talking to himself. I, I really like these too, but I was not going to be like um, gluing all these suckers back together. Um, it does make more sense to do the big ones first, by the way. It does make a lot of sense to do the big ones first. And, uh, yeah. So, you know, you sort of start, I'm, I'm, these are the tricks I learned. Um, Corey didn't put all of this in here herself, but I, you know, I'm going to tell you the tricks. Uh, I'm going to tell you the tricks. You know, she said she sort of wanted to, um, and it's just kind of a fun card to make. So what you want to do is you want to start at the top, start with some of them hanging off, start with the bigger ones, and then fill in with the little ones. Um, yeah. You know, and uh, start with the tilting in all different directions, too. By the way, this would be the perfect time for a glue sponge. Yeah. Yeah, now you know how I got that piece of turquoise green sea foam, whatever it was, on my, um, on my paper on my glass mat, but that's what glass mats are for. You know, you, um, you put them on. I did like one and a half papers on her thing. She said she did probably three quarters of a piece of paper. Um, maybe if you do heavier paper, you feel like you don't have to do quite so many hearts. I'm, I don't know. Um, one of the other things is if you do, oh man, all the birds are squawking today. All the birds are squawking today. Um, the littler ones can be up off the top too, which is kind of neat. When in doubt, fling things into your... So, to save on postage... I cut out all that part in the middle because, frankly, that was boring. And it was also listening to Meep scream at me to say, I want to come eat some hearts. No. I want to come eat some hearts. No. Yeah, that. So, look at that. So, the other sentiment that I used so we could be a little closer to Ms. Whiskman was I used the Concord and Knife Simple Serif Alphabet dies. Hi. I did not lose my tittle. 
There's my tittle right there. Um, I like the way this one came out. And I think I'm going to use a smaller heart. I am. I'm going to use the smaller heart. Um, here we go. There's the smaller heart. Look at that. Smaller heart. I um, still don't have any uh, clear puffy tape. So we are still going to be using the sticky puffy tape from Hal. Uh, I used to really recommend the Burtek tape because it really worked well. It was really cheap and they seem to have changed their formulation and it is now the stickiest stuff on the planet it comes up your scissors so don't buy Burtek. um buy something from the us because what the hell if Burtek is awful don't save the money um it's not worth the frustration so what i'm doing if you can see i am taping the heart and the outline together with the foam tape. So that's pretty cool. That way it'll both be popped up. And I actually know whom I am sending, to whom I am sending this. <gasps> what, Cindy Ellen? You know English language? I do, I do. I uh, majored in languages in college. <laughs> I was gonna teach. Um, I ended up not teaching, uh, but I had, I had a degree, I had a degree to teach high school students. Yes, I had a secondary teaching degree in English, French, and German. Can <laughs> Deutsch? Yeah, feel Deutsch. So, so I'm gonna put this down here. There it is. Look at that. That's so cute. No, it's not. Okay, I might pop this up later. All right, now let's glue this down while squeaky pants. Actually, you may have noticed. Um, remember when I said this is the perfect opportunity for a glue sponge? I meant it. So, listening to my own... Oh, I hate it when that happens. Luckily, it dries clear. Uh, I listen to my own advice. So when you dip things in glue, wipe off the back. Because you don't, you don't need it to be that bad. Ah! What am I doing? Straightening it out. So do you hear that in the background? That in the background is my bird going, hi, hi, hi. Because he's convinced if he says hi often enough, I will go get him and he can come over. So now we're gonna put this on here and we're gonna go get our version of fog cardstock. Which, by the way, here's what you need to know. Staples cardstock, Staples gray cardstock is exactly the same color as fog. And if you're gonna glue things on your desk, clean up the mess first, because if you don't, you will end up with brown ink or glue or grossness everywhere. Yes, you will. So there we have it. So now we're going to take this. No, we're not. We're going to take the glue tab off the front. Also wipe your fingers after you've been inking or doing anything because says the messiest crafter on the planet. Check which way your card goes. And then put that in the middle. There you go.
Isn't that pretty? And there we go. A la Corey Wistman. There we go. Corey, good job. I like it, Corey. And this one is Corey Wiskman esque a la Cindy Ellen Robinson. So, you know, you don't always have to. Always checking which way your cardstock is going. Because, you know, frankly, oh, I didn't cut this one down. All right, so we will glue that one completely on the card base. There we go. There we go. Oh, also equally nice. And see, we went from all of these to some of these. I also, by the way, cut out a bunch of hearts with um, my stitched heart dies from Cat Scrappiness. Um, I had a heart from one of my um, Love a Latte card things. And I have a set of um, balloon dies that are heart shaped also, I believe from MFT. So, um, but I didn't like those. So I went with uh, lots of heart dies. So there you have it. Case the Creator. Thank you, Corey, for the inspiration. Nice hello cards. Hope you enjoyed it. I have no idea. If you'd like me to case a card of yours, um, stick it in the comments below, and I will see what I can see. Talk to you later.